All right. Extremely proud of, of the way the guys worked this week. We had a little adverse there. Matter of fact, a lot of people said a lot of adversity uh, during the week, but the guys fought back, uh, worked hard, proud of them. We talked last night about what we had to do to win, uh, eliminate the foolish penalties, be able to run the football, be able to play good on third downs, you know, on defense, third down on offense, and uh, we did some good things. So I'm proud of the guys. Uh, I told them that we're going to just uh, keep moving forward. Uh, we erased everything last week that had anything to do with the first four games and uh, told them we were starting over 0-0. Zero and zero. We're starting conference play, and we're 1-0 and right in the conference. we got to keep going. So uh, we'll celebrate tonight, but uh, tomorrow we'll get back to work and, uh, and continue to try to get better. It feels great. You know, just the atmosphere of everybody and, you know, it coming after, you know, coach change, you know, and Coach Coop came in here and he, he really built up the confidence in us and, you know, it showed in the field, offense, you know, having 450 yards, you know, the defense playing really well the whole game and it just feels great to everybody. It just shows how mentally tough this team is. Uh, we go through so much during the summer with our coaches in the spring, with our uh, strength and conditioning coaches, they push us so hard. And, uh, and it was like, it looked like that us as a team, we wasn't using it as an advantage through all the stuff we go through. But tonight, we came out there and we fought hard and wanted to get that Shula Bowl trophy back in. And we did. Uh, you know, all week our coaches prepare as well. You know, we, I think we had some of the best coaches in the nation. You know, they really didn't show us nothing that we didn't prepare for. You know, just going off the film and watching them from the previous week. Everything that we seen out there, we seen it in practice. So our coaches did a great job preparing us. I keeping both of us fresh. Uh, and when, when one's fresh, you coming in, you got one that can, I'm short, quick, and can move quick. And then he comes in, he has the power, and he can also uh, move, get out of cuts, in and out of cuts. So it's like, just got thunder and lightning, a one-two punch. They did a great job. And again, you can't run the football without the offensive line. And uh, we thought during the week to where our offensive line blocked, we did a lot of good on good, worked the ones versus the ones in the run game. And uh, Shank did a great job of calling the plays. Unbelievable, uh, him, he and the offensive staff. And uh, again, we knew what those two had. Uh, sometimes you got to feed them the ball enough. And uh, we told our offense they can win the game at the end by just holding on to it and creating and run, creating some things in the running game. And uh, those guys did. The ball security was excellent with them all night. They took some shots and kept running, but our offensive line blocked well for them. Uh, honestly, we didn't really have a big game or a game plan that I was going to run as much as I did. It's just my reads, and if if I get a pull read, I'm going to run as fast as I can, as hard as I can, and do anything it takes to score. They're just, they were so fired up. They were so ready to play. And tip, tip my hat to those guys, man. Those guys work so hard in the trenches, man. They get beat up every play. You know, I, could, I, you know, I complain about, you know, getting hit. And they're getting smashed around and fighting for me not to get hit. And, I can't say enough about those guys and the running backs and what, what they do every play to help the team be successful. And those guys played a heck of a game, heck of a game. And it showed with how many rushing yards we had. Well, yes, I said during the week, I said, Alex, uh, you know, for us to be the team that we need to be this year, Magoo is going to have to play well. And, uh, you know, a lot of times you blame interceptions. The ball, the first interception bounced off a receiver. He should have caught it. Second one, was, was, he could have made a better throw. But the best thing about him is that he had amnesia. We talked to the team about forgetting. There are going to be bad things that happen in football. <laughs> That's just how it goes. And uh, when bad things happen, you got to be able to fight back. And, uh, you know, I told Alex, hey, just play ball and relax, man. We're going they, – they need to stop us and not us stopping ourselves. And the offensive line came off the ball. They protected well. He made some big throws in the end. The, 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 the touchdown early in the game, they were in zero coverage. It was a fourth down. A lot of quarterbacks would have given it. Uh, you know, it was a read option. Uh, he saw the end squeeze. He pulled it and ran in. So, uh, you know, he did a great job. And, and for us to be all the team that we, we can be, we need him to keep playing well and be the starting quarterback. And, and uh, he owned up to it tonight. Oh, man, I love that guy, man. That's like my brother. Uh, I was so proud of him having a comeback game how he did. And I was shocked, actually. Like, I didn't know he could run. I didn't know he could move like that, man. He was out there sliding. Like, I was proud of him. He had a good game on the ground and throwing the ball. I've been coaching a long time. A win to me is a win. So I celebrate all wins. Whether you win by one or 40, I celebrate all wins, no matter how it goes. So we, we celebrated in the locker room. Uh, it is a conference win. We told the guys we're 0-0. 
zero and zero when we started the day off. Let's finish this thing and be one and zero. And right now the guys did it, and uh, it'll only get tougher. I told them practice will get tougher next week. It won't get easier. It's going to get tougher, uh, but but they responded well. We'll continue practicing. But the biggest thing I think the guys bought in, and uh, you know when you when you lose your head coach and your leader that's been there for him, he recruited the guys. You guys may have seen the tweets. Uh, guys can be wondering, but staff did a great job of pulling them together. The staff didn't flinch. The players didn't flinch. And uh, we just got to move forward from here and see what happens. Yeah, you know, the first four games, obviously, I don't think anything really went right for you know, anybody. But, you know, Coach, Coach Coop came in here, and, and uh, the first day he, he, he installed confidence in us. He, he brought it back to the team, and he told us that we can do it, that we will do it, and we just got to go play. You know, we got to go have fun. And the practice picked up, like, the energy-wise. And I just can't say enough how, how well the job Coop, Coop has done, you know, bringing confidence and energy back to the team. But we knew we wanted, we wanted this win bad. We needed, we needed this win, honestly. Uh, we're on four, uh, trying, to, trying to stay in a conference hunt and a bowl game hunt. We know we, we know we needed this win. So everybody just locked in and zeroed in and went out there and fought hard and gave it their all for the team. Uh, rivalry games you always get up for, man. These games that coaches should not have to get you hyped for. These games that you think about all week, all year, like, man, we play FAU this week. This, this is not a normal game. You know, we know guys over there, you know, it's talking all week, and that's just something you get it, go to college for.